Hey guys, it's Kenzie. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am going to be chatting with you guys and I'm also going to be sewing and breaking in my new point shoes. I'm so excited that I can finally do these videos because um, I've been in gainers for like a really long time and I would like barely ever get new shoes because they last so long. I have been wearing Breed Studio Professionals for literally like two weeks now. And this is my third pair. It is a financial investment, but it's fine. <laughs> I posted many TikToks of me breaking in my point shoes and they get like hundreds of thousands of views. And that's a lot for me on TikTok. So I thought, why not bring it to YouTube? They come in this cute little baggie. Just kidding, it's like the most basic like plastic bag. Um, and this is what they look like. So a little backstory on why I'm changing my shoes um, and how I got to these shoes. So I'm changing my shoes because not to bash Gainer Minden, like love them, loved my Gainer Mindens, like whatever. Um, and they had to do whatever they think is best for their brand. But personally, they changed their shoes um, and they made them harder, like stiffer. Um, and I just cannot wear hard, stiff shoes. I don't have very flexible feet. Um, I don't have like high arches, so like I need a shoe that like looks good on me. And my gainers like looked really good on me, but the new stiff satin like, I felt like I couldn't point my foot, um, especially if I was doing like a long rep where it required a lot of stamina. I felt like it was cramping a lot and I couldn't like point my foot or like feel them. Um, because they're just so hard and I think that's why I like these because these shoes are so soft but I ordered a bunch of point shoes um, I tried like three different freeds didn't really know what I was doing with the classic ones I don't know um, I tried the Capizio Abas which honestly were nice like they felt really nice like the suede in them really soft I just hated the way the toe box like looked I don't know there was something funky about that shoe I was just like no thanks um, Anyways, then I tried the, I ordered, um, the Freed Studio Professionals that I, the same exact size that I used to wear when I was, like, 13. I put them on and I was just like, yeah, I want these shoes. They are four and a half E. They do have a pretty big profile, which, like, some people don't like, but honestly, I feel like it's not that bad. I'm gonna show you guys how I sew these and I'm gonna answer some questions as well. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is put them on and figure out like what shoe I like on which foot. And I feel like these feel good. So I'm just gonna mark the left foot on the inside and just do like an L. I'm going to take my old gainers, I'm so sorry. And I'm actually going to use the ribbons from these cause they're in good shape and I don't, have any other ribbons i am very specific about like what ribbons i like i can wear like any ribbons but my favorite ribbons are the gainer midden stretch elastic ribbons or whatever they're called okay so now i'm gonna take a pin i'm just gonna pin the ribbon since I already cut these, like since they were already on a point shoe, I need to put them exactly where they were on the other point shoe. Cause like, so this ribbon was on my right foot and the inside, so it has to be on the right shoe on the inside. Cause I already cut them. So if I put it on the outside, it would be too short, if that makes sense. Okay, so I finally have all the ribbons off of those shoes and pinned onto these and now I'm gonna go over to my sewing machine. So I'm just gonna answer like some questions as well. I answered these ones on Instagram, but I'm also just gonna answer them on here as well. Also before that, I just wanna let you guys know that I'm just sewing just straight stitch um, the elastics. It's really nothing special on my sewing machine. So the first question is, are you staying at GRB for the next season, um, which is Grand Rapids Ballet, if you guys don't know. I am a trainee there, and yes, 
I am going to be staying for next season. And guys, I have to do this because my machine doesn't like backstitch, so don't make fun of me. So I am going to be a trainee there um, again for another year. Okay, so I go back and forth like three or four times. And just to give you guys a little like insight to the training program, the um, training program that I'm doing is tuition free. So I'm like very grateful for that because um, when I didn't really know about training programs, like last year when I was like applying, I didn't even realize that like a lot of them have tuition, but we do do a lot of stuff like in the company. So, so I've been in every single production except for the first, the very first one. It's been very rewarding being a trainee here because we just have like so many opportunities to perform and rehearse and take class with the company. And I feel like some training programs aren't like that. And I just know, like, I'm excited to stay here for another season. Um, I did audition a lot of places. There were a couple places that actually were, like, interested. And then decided not to offer me anything. Um, which is fine, because I just, I believe, like, God is going to, like, put me wherever I'm supposed to be. Um, Oh, um, it's just going to be really weird because I know just so many people um, this season in the company and in the trainee and like apprentice positions are going to be leaving and it's just like going to be so weird to be here still but be in like a just like a different atmosphere because there's going to be like so many new people. I just feel like I've made like so many friends and it's gonna be so weird without them. It feels honestly like me and my roommate always say it just feels like a really really long summer intensive because it's just a trainee program and you don't know if you're gonna be like um, accepted like next year or like asked back. Okay there was this one question everybody I don't know why but there were so many questions like have you ever wanted to quit like why why were so many people asking me that i don't know and i thought it was really strange because this past week was very like hard for me and i did say i want to quit many times um to my boyfriend so it was just really weird that like so many people were asking me and that like that's just like how i've been feeling the past week but honestly, it's not like, I just get like very dramatic sometimes um, and I don't like to admit it, but I'm admitting it right now. Um, and when things get very stressful um, and hard and painful, I like to think that I can take the easy way out and be like, I could quit. Like I could quit and all of this would go away. I wouldn't have to deal with pain. I wouldn't have to deal with like anxiety and fear. And then I also add the stress of like work on top because when I get home, I'm in a lot of pain and I don't want to work. I said on my Instagram that I feel like I always think about quitting because I could quit and focus on the career that I already have, which is like YouTube, you guys, um, my dancer business, and like I could grow it and all this yada yada stuff. Um, I could move, like move in with my boyfriend, like all this stuff, like I could quit and do that and be happy, blah, blah, blah. But I know like in the back of my mind that, that I would like regret that so much because I'm literally only 19 and I know that I have to keep I have to keep dancing like this is literally my first year in a, in a company and um and that later on in my life if I didn't keep going and like really pursue my goals and aspirations that I would be really upset but it's not even always about money like money does not equal happiness so ballet I just feel like right now it gives me like a lot of purpose um it gives me a goal to reach it gives me like aspirations it gives me like something to do during the day yeah i'll get into like those phases and then literally like a couple days later i'll like love ballet again and like want to 
dance in Europe, which I know like will never happen, but like I'll get into those phases as well. So I'm kind of bipolar when it comes to that. But okay, now comes my least favorite part, which is, are the elastics. I usually do this on the sewing machine, but it's like the most annoying thing ever. I'm gonna try to hand sew them today, like a normal dancer. I, I feel like if you use too big of a needle, like you could even like you could knot it 10 times and the knot would still like pull through so <laughs> i'm gonna try to use a smaller needle and yeah so these are the gainer minden elastics cut it in half and then i place it um kind of like there and i'm gonna pin it as well because i could not do it without pinning it okay so i always like double it too have my needle and thread. Let's go. That's good. Okay, anyways, I have no method of this. I'm just gonna go in and out and probably do it like one, two, three, four, hopefully. If I had a cameraman, we could like zoom in and make this all fancy. Okay, so I did like both elastics on just one side and then and I kind of feel like where the elastic should go and with these ones I have to put them on like tighter because the heels like fall off my feet but okay and then I just pin it and then sew it and then I'm gonna do the same to the other shoe and then I'm gonna do that off camera and then I'll show you how I actually break them Okay, I'm finally done sewing them and then I always just like I leave the excess there just in case I need to like Make them looser or anything. Okay, I'm really sorry for the weird lighting But the first thing that I do to break them in is put them on if you were looking for some weird like elaborate way of me breaking them in I'm really sorry but since they're such like a soft shoe I can't like do anything crazy to them. Otherwise, they'll literally just die in like a day so i just have to put them on um and i have to tighten the elap of the drawstring i just do it as tight as it can go and then tie up the ribbons Okay, and the way that I break them in, I'm, I don't know if I can even explain it to you, but I basically just kind of like, like just move in them, just kind of like get them used to my feet, get them like molded to my feet, and I push in the arches, just make sure that I can like roll through them and like wear them during class, because most of the breaking in comes from me wearing them in class, so. I know it's like kind of satisfying to see somebody like like go like that and like crush the box but i just feel like the best way to like break in your shoes is to just like put them on your feet and like 
break them in that way um and i don't mind these shoes when they're new like i don't hate them and i am going to take them off and then just like bend them where my arch was just a little bit so it can be like very snug in the arch and like make my foot look better Okay, like they already feel so much different from when I first put them on. And then this is probably as far as I'll go. And then I'm going to wear these all through tech week probably, like every day during class um, to break them in. And hopefully they'll be good by the show. But again, I am not used to wearing like traditional shoes, so I'm not really sure. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys like to see me breaking my point shoes make sure to like and subscribe for more videos and i will see you guys in the next video i love you guys so much stay confident